I don't fuck with it. The drums are too trap influenced. It's not a trap track. That's better, Jay Z. It doesn't work. It pisses me off. There's a motherfucker out there on our comments who keeps asking, Move the fucking couch to the middle. Move the couch to the middle. Man, he ain't no motherfucker. He's just a man who probably has OCD. And you know what? Yeah, you a motherfucker. <laughs> so, if you don't understand, this is a very big couch. It's very heavy. But for you, my man, and there's many others out there, we're going to move it, all right? So here's how I'm going to start. Step one. We can't move the camera because there's a shit right here. Here so. we go. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. That's right. We broke a couple things, but that's okay. Move. Let him see. Let him see the work. <laughs> Let him see. Zoom Look. in. On, zoom on this right now. Look. Zoom in on this. Look at it. It's beautiful, isn't Look it? Look at it. Are you happy now? Is everything better now? Can we review, can we review Beyonce and Jay Z now? Is that okay with you? Bro. Is that okay with you guys? Bro. We got the couch fixed. Zoom in on my asshole now. Zoom in on my asshole. Now zoom back in on the couch. Oh, All right. Nice. Let's go. Hey, Jay Z, Beyonce, and the Carters. So it's not just Jay Z and Beyonce, but the Carters could be referencing Blue, who may be on this album. Man, it could be representing the other one. Oh, the twins. They had twins? Yep, Beyonce had twins. Oh, forget about this. Is my hair look alright? Nope. Cool. My name is Stefan Pedelberg. My name is Alexander Sandalis, and we are Together Jungle Beats, Australia's plug to the worst reviews in the country. The honest interracial couple down under. Literally. And... <laughs> man, we just reviewed Nas, we just reviewed so many albums. And I drove all the way to pick this man up because Jay-Z and Beyonce decided to fucking drop this album out of nowhere. I just wanted a day off. You wanted a day off? I wanted a day off. So I'll I'm be... like, no. I worked nine hours, got to bed at 4.30. Fuck you, Jay-Z, Beyonce. But, but I also, love, thank you. Also, yes. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm quite excited for this. He's not as excited as this for me. I'm uh, big fans of both of them. <sighs> as Tyler would say, I fucking hate you, but I love you. I'm not as big a Beyonce fan. I'm not as big a Jay-Z fan as I used to be. But nonetheless, I'm still very open to this project. And I hope that I really enjoy it. What I'm expecting right now, Jay-Z and Beyonce have never made a joint album together. We've got a lot of singles together, a lot of duets together, which have been great in my opinion. And um, I'm really, this has been in the, rumored for many years and I'm really excited. It's finally happening. The cover is thought provoking and, and makes sense to the imagery that they have used in previous music videos. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shut up now. No, I don't want you to shut up. I want you to keep talking. Do you want him to keep talking? Oh, you want him to shut up? Oh, okay, sorry. It's just me. <laughs> It's just me. So It almost felt too quick for the beat. You did that on 444 as well though. It's the same thing you did on 444. Summer. It's a very summery track. It's sultry. It's a bit sexy. Is it summery? Oh, the production I, I think it's is more wintry. Uh, that's just my opinion. It's true. It is, it is summer right now in, 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 in America. Yeah. Um, it's, I don't know. It's, it's not that, it doesn't, not that an exciting of an opener. It's, it's a little bit underwhelming as an opener, but it's nice. It's pretty. It's bright. It's colorful. It's sincere. I quite like the production. Yeah. It had a lot of soul to it. Yeah. Even the, uh, the, the bass guitar in the background was very soul like. So like the uh, violin was really nice. Yes, definitely. Beautiful. So I, I like the production of this thing. It's very easy to sort of relax you and really focus. Um, Beyonce didn't really do much for me on here. She just kind of was there. Jay-Z's verse. 
I didn't really like because the whole time it just felt he was offbeat. Yeah, uh, same. That's, that's the felt reason. Too quick. It's the reason I didn't like four four four, and the same reason why I don't really like him here. So, I, the beat was the only highlight of the track for me here. Yeah, I mean, it was nice. It was nice. Um, it was. But nice. it's just an opener, you know. It's just an opener. Yeah. Uh, the next track is called Ape Shit, and we got a music video to accompany this. Oh, fuck yeah. So, we about to go ape shit, you know? The word, just ape shit. Does that mean it's gonna be a banger? Uh, yes. Six minutes, man. Oh, already, the art's absolutely fucking stellar. And the colors. The imagery they use is very purposeful. Like, everything they do is, is on purpose. Oh my god, he's got the nappy hair! <laughs> When's the last time he had the nappy hair? <laughs> oh, look at them. Hey. Or design or someone like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm loving this imagery and the way they're doing the color of the skin. Like the, the, the costumes are fitting their, their skin tone. I can't we made it. This oh, okay, Jay Jay Jay's looking good. He's looking good. Gorilla in the fucking coop, finna pull up in the suit. I'm like cheeky, me graffiti. Who been lying, king to you? Oh, pocket watch it like kangaroos. Tell these clowns we ain't mules. Man, a clip for that monkey business. Four five got changed for you. Presidential oh. with the place too. One better get you with the presidential. Undefeated with the that's better, Jay Z. That was from Magna Carta Holy Grail, the cover. The four. Oh, damn! They went ape shit, literally. Oh, I'm gonna let you start that off because I know you're feeling it. Okay. Now, a lot of people are gonna have a problem with that trap because they're hopping on the trap wave, right? I yeah, all the old heads are. I ain't mad at that at all. Nah, Jay Z has expressed his appreciation for this type of music, and it makes sense why he's hopping on it with B. Yeah, it's like Tom Ford Part Two featuring Beyonce. And I think they did a very good job at it. Mm. The production, the music video to accompany it, the imagery, the colors, the braggadociousness, mm. the features with Quavo. It sounded uh, like it sounded like Migos. I thought it was maybe Quavo, Future I mean, first. Is, yeah. it, is it just Quavo or Migos? I thought I heard Quavo. Off, I thought I heard Offset on there as well. That's all is referenced in in this on Genius. Um, I love how Jay Z during the video clip is like mouthing the Quavo, like he's like skirt and like <laughs> he's yep, super like, serious. Like yeah, he's super serious and mouthing the fucking ad libs. I'm yeah. just like, come on, Jay Z. It was great. I loved it. I love his series demeanor as well. Mm. It's like it's a fun track, but it's like it has a serious overtone. And I love how they can show their love and appreciation for art. So we've always known, especially Jay Z, but Beyonce too, their, their love for art. Yeah. And they're showcasing it in this video clip, and they're making like set, like it's kind of like a blend of. Like their music and art in itself just blending together, and the the the, the pictures that show, and also the Magna Carta Holy Grail, the I think the the, the the Michelangelo one they did, like that was on there as well. So a lot of good throwbacks there. Really dope video clip. I love I love the way that all the dancers had the the outfits which matched their skin tone as best they could. Um, definitely meant to represent art as well. I. It was a really fun track. Beyonce on the last verse went fucking in. And we, we talked about early off camera how mm. we wanted to yep. hear them rap. Like we heard Beyonce rap in that last track they did and I was just like, off. I was like, yeah. I was like, give me more of that Beyonce. And we got it right here. She was spitting. It was super fun to hear like this. I don't think this is meant to be anything super special. I think it's meant to be really fun. Them just enjoying themselves. Like you see on camera, the act is serious, but at the end they're just like smiling together, they're laughing together, they're holding hands. It looks like they're generally just enjoying making music that just isn't meant to be anything Mind blowing, which because you know you listen to Beyonce, I'm listening to Jay Z, I'm expecting this grand demeaning, this grand storytelling, but here it's just like they're having fun. Right. 
So it's uh, it's I really think that's great because they've had separate albums yeah. where they can out, have that outlet. Exactly. So it's really I think that's what we're going to get from this tape. I honestly don't think we're going to get anything really eye opening. Maybe a track or two, but I feel like this is just them just truly enjoying just being together and just making fun music. That's yeah. a great point, man. I yeah. really like all the verses. Beyonce Same. switched it up towards the end. Jay Z, really good verse too. He he was so energetic, so eclectic, and I loved. I just I just thought it was way better. Like he was on beat, like. Way better than the first track. Way better. That was good. Now, it's, now I'm just curious, like, what direction do they go in sonically? Like, do they stick... Summer's quite different to Ape Shit, right? Yeah. What are we going to get now? I, I, I don't think that's going to be cohesive. I think it's just them just making music that's fun. We'll get back and forth. I think it's going to be back and forth. I don't think there's going to be... I, I Now, after this track, I just think that, like, I'm not expecting anything, like, wow-wise, lyrically. I think we're just going to have just fun music, man. Yeah, and I don't think there's anything wrong, wrong with, with that, that whatsoever. At all. So, it's, I think it's... It's just good to see them, you know, not rapping about each other. It seems they've really, they've really got through what they've been, and they're they're, they're really happy. Well, everything is now. love now, right? Everything the is title, love. right? Exactly, man. They're joint together. This is it, man. They've been talking to Kanye. Everything's love, man. No, but it makes sense. Dragon energy. It makes, it sense, makes sense, considering man. where they've been. Oh, 100 percent, man. They've been through some shit. Lord the God. track, balls. Hey, balls. <laughs> hey, balls. <laughs> Bay rapper, this is good. That's a killer verse, man. My Beyonce. Yeah. Those trumpets, we've heard those trumpets before with them. Very outcast like trumpets. You just used it before. It should sound like something that they've had in the bank for a while. That production sounds like five to ten years ago. I just, releasing production like that today is like really out of place to me. I don't think so. I think it's something, it's similar to what we heard it's production wise on a couple of tracks. I think on the Beyonce album or the last album she made, Lemonade. Um, so I like how she's revisiting those sounds because they work well with her. Yeah. Um, I really like Beyonce's last verse. And honestly, the whole Beyonce and Jay's verse, I was kind of snoozy because the beat wasn't feeling so much. But then Beyonce's last verse on there, it got my attention. She really did a thing in that last one. It's good to hear her spitting. Oh, I love it, man. Yeah. I love the slight voice alteration too. The direction she's going in, like right now, Beyonce is the highlight of this album thus far, she's, and I'm absolutely okay with that. She's the highlight. I don't think Jay Z's got any ego attached to this project. I think it's no, just he's having fun with them. Exactly. Man. <sighs> that was nice. In the production, no, at the end there's like, Did you know, Jesus Christ, that's very Migos like. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, oh there you go. That's the line. Oh yeah, babe. She sounded good, man. Sounds like something. Is this something like Pharrell will produce? This is Pharrell. Like, hundred percent. This is Pharrell. That's Pharrell. That's Pharrell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fun track. That that is man. I love. I you know what? I get it. People are gonna still have problems with what Jay Z's doing. Sonic with these with these lyric uh, t 
tone. People just got to realize that he's not going to make the same. Man, let Jay Z not think about being the fucking strongest lyrical rapper in the game for once, y'all. Yeah? Mm. Let, let him fucking just have a bit of fun on this bitch. It's weird though that we do that. We like we're like giving them like okay, we understand its intention. Man, the artists never owe anything to us. They never do. As much as you're just like if someone say like Kanye puts out an album, you're like, oh man. Man, we deserve a better album, Kanye. We've been waiting so long for an album. Yeah. Kanye doesn't owe you shit. Exactly. No artist in the world owes you shit. They are their own person. They can do whatever the fuck they want. And if you don't like it, you just have to accept that and then find... Dude, whenever I think of... Whenever I'm annoyed that something comes out that I don't like, I just find something else because there is an expanse ocean of music out there. And the amount of life that you have left in your life, there is more music out there that is your life's worth. So... Man, that's, like, that's one of the best points you've made recently. Mm-hmm. You know, this year. Like, that's a really great point. Um, to get to the track, Pharrell killed the production. I'm really glad he was a feature on here. He, um, it was fun. Yeah. I liked his feature and that. Da, da, <laughs> like, super fun, oh, super lighthearted. Straight away, you know, that's Pharrell production. Just hearing them drums, you're just like, Pharrell. And Jay Z was nice in there. I loved him with the, trying up that Migos sort of flow. Beyonce was the highlight once again. She was amazing on here. Uh, this and Ape Shit are like my two favorite tracks on here. That, that, this is a fun track. I'm going to go back to this track. This track was cool. Just really fun just to put on and just be like, uh, it, uh, uh, and it, you know, I, it's going to get in the headlines. I, I, if I gave a two fucks, two fucks about streaming numbers would have put Lemonade up on Spotify. Mm. Fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you. I'm out. Shout out to Jay for hooking me up with that one. Bit of a spoiler alert, but it's cool, man. At least we noticed that. So Now you just said Jay. People are going to think he's talking about his friend, Jay, not Jay-Z. <laughs> um, yeah, some, some funny lines and some uh, some relevant lines addressing some of the things they've been experiencing recently mm-hmm. in the media. So there you go, they're still putting out bars, yet still having fun with it. Jeez. Production, sir. Oh. I don't know who Louis B and Gordy are trunks all in the closet. Ain't shit changed, the streets are still watching. And my little baby blue is like, who gonna stop us? But the way I'm that work, it's hard for me to connect. My first time in the ocean when exactly as you'd expect me. Do you get this? It's a reference to Still Dre. Yeah, that's what it is. Even instrumental. It's a DRE. It's even they're sampling the same instrumental too. I think yeah. they killed that beat. That was a great reference. The way that it comes in too, like the way that it sort of like dun dun dun, then the beat just comes in. Yeah, um, reference to Still Dre by Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and even with the hook, they uh, they play back a bit of playful same melodies as Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre's part on the hook. Yeah. So. It's dear Ducky, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the beat is a bit of a slower tempo, but the same sort of strings that are on there too. So everything to do that was to do with that and. Uh, their delivery on the track was stellar. Oh, how good was Beyonce coming in right after Jay Z with a real, like, growly sort of like, yeah. like she, she came in hot. I think man. she when when she expresses that type of delivery, she's fantastic. Yeah, I got nothing more to say in that. Um, I didn't love it too much, but once again, Beyonce is the, the shining light on this track. Man, I think I think that was hard as shit, man. <laughs> It's like the most trap beat we've heard so far. 
Mio's great track and one of Jay-Z's best verses on this album, one of his most uh, significant, sincere. It's the first track where Jay-Z is still on the show. Right. In my, in my opinion. Yeah, no, no, I feel you. I feel you. Beyonce has been still on the show on every track. And Beyonce was still decent on this track, but Jay-Z stole the show with that verse. That was such a good verse. The one line really hit me. Looking for love in the wrong places, we proposed to a stove. I just yep. want to dissect that a little bit. Obviously, a stove cooking crack on a stove, right? Mm -hmm. it's, like a, it's like a metaphor for looking for love in the wrong places. Yep. He not only looked for lo like his purpose and love in crack and de drug dealing, but looking for love in the wrong place. It's a metaphor for also cheating. Yeah, it was the well. first line and we both straight away were just like, oof, it was really dope. Um, I wasn't feeling the hook at all though. This little trap hook, you know, it's just a little fun uh, little thing. And it was whatever. too long. The hook was too long. I don't think this track needed another verse from Bay. I thought the one verse from her and the one verse from Jay-Z was good. And then close it with that beautiful, the beautiful like singing that she had in the At outro. The end, yeah. I could get, scrap a verse, scrap some of the hook. It was too long for me. Like for such an amazing verse from Jay-Z and some good work from Beyonce, it was too much. Like it ruined it for me. I don't care if the house on fire. I'm dying, nigga. I ain't leaving. So it's like a commitment to his relationship with Beyonce. Like they've been mm. through whatever they've been through. It's like, this it. Like, this is my commitment. Ty Ty's best friend, take care of my friends after he's done grieving. I don't know, reference to like his death or his death in a relationship. Hmm. Indeed, hmm. Let's keep this, mo let's keep this moving. Lots of ponder on that track. We'll be revisiting that one. Heard about us. Fucking around. You're the king in his prime. Yeah, it changed up. Catch it. Online, he called me dad, kiddingly. You're not supposed to take his dad thing literally. That's too famous. We don't even really do famous. A cool on that chunk to two fingers. You know me, I've been me since the cocaine. Bitch, no me. She don't get in here to hold me. Let's be honest, man. Let's be honest, man. Let's be honest, man. Let's be honest, man. Is that a shout to Nas? If you don't know, now you know. I think it fuck the tiredness is hitting me, bro. Either way, that line, if you don't know, now you know. I'm fairly sure it's Nas. Fucking power tripped me on the fucking keyboard if I'm wrong. I really liked how they stripped back the instrumental for Jay-Z's verse. That was a very smart move. It's much needed. Um, that, that, was a, that was a nice track. Nothing too special, whatever. Boringest track in the album for me. Couldn't give a fuck. Tell him. Just couldn't care. The instrumental bored me. Beyonce wasn't trying to do anything. Like the, the, the reason why this album has been fun to me so far is Beyonce's been fucking around with rapping. She's been fucking around with auditory. She's been fucking around a lot. She's pretty lazy here, on track, right? Here she's just been like, oh, I'm just going to get on my Beyonce Sing Sing shit. Man, we heard that shit. Give us this new shit. I like seeing the growth in you, Beyonce. I like seeing you have fun here. I'm bored as fuck. Get off this shit. Damn. The highlight for me of the track was Jay Z's verse and how he the play on words with the dad thing, with the yeah. dude famous thing. It was the highlight famous. again right there. Oh, oh yeah. really? Now, I feel similar to you. That last hook was not needed. They could have ended it earlier. That's not the thing that I'm annoyed by. No, I'm sure there's many things. The soulful intro, really nice. But then when the drums kick in, I don't fuck with it. 
The drums are too trap influenced. It's not a trap track. It's a weird contrast, right? It doesn't work. It pisses me off. Like, it's a beautiful intro. It's soulful. And Jay-Z shines these type of instrumentals. But then this big, heavy trap drum comes in with this pounding bass behind it. It's just like, did you just forget about the intro? Did you forget about the soul that it was implementing into your track? It's like everything Jay's saying, you can't really focus on too much because of this big, heavy fucking drum going off. That's just how I felt. Mm. I was constantly being like bopping my head, but being like, but it's like, it's just, it's, it's, it's taking the soul out of the track. Like, cause you can mm. hear the light, you can hear the light, the light piano in the background. You can hear like the sample, but the drums overpower everything else going on. I see, I definitely see where you're coming from. And I think this track's going to have people divided. <sighs> And I know you want to keep going, but I'm going to let you finish. But I think the contrast is what makes it different. And the contrast and the duality between those sounds is what a lot of people are going to enjoy about it as well. I don't fuck with it. Jay's verse was really good though. Both of his verses. Yeah, Beyonce. I wasn't feeling Beyonce on I that. think Beyonce did her thing too. Nah, I wasn't feeling Beyonce in this one. Why don't you go in a little rap? She's, she's 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 high energy. She's she's up and about. I know. I feel like I just didn't feel like she matched Jay Z on here. That's this this is the track that's got me the most divided. Some parts I really like. Some parts I'm like not feeling. I just like Jay Z's verse. That's the only thing I liked. I thought they fucked the production up on this track. The production's got me so mixed that I can't even fucking enjoy it. I'm sorry. Look at me stank facing. I'm sorry, man. Look a shout out to the man who commented last video, Professor Plum with a permanent stank face. Because <laughs> I was Professor Plum in the last video. <laughs> Fuck, who am I this video? Shit, I can't remember, man. Last track, Love Happy. Oh. Is a Beyonce Jay Z song? They've remastered it. You can't remember it? No. We'll find it after this. They've both done this song before. So oh, she's calling back to the lyrics in the track all night. Oh, but I don't know if that's the track though. Either way, we'll talk about it. It just sucks I can't remember it. That's the end. That's a dope way to finish, man. I think that's one of the best duets and it takes it back to kind of this old kind of Jay-Z, Beyonce duet that they used to do back in the day. I think it's funny they sampled their own song. Right. We just can't remember which one. I can't remember which song it was, but I've heard that is definitely a Jay-Z and potentially Beyonce song as well. I remember that song. I fucking can't remember what album and it's fucking eating at me. I'm just not awake enough to remember. Um, but yeah, they were trading really well and bringing up a lot of stuff and... I think they're just really concluding the album well and being like, we've been through so much shit, but we're as strong as we've ever been there. And I think this is a great message to a lot of people out there in relationships as yeah. well or in marriages. Like yeah. when you get past the harder stages, it just makes your chains that much stronger. And like, I feel like that every, every couple has to go through this. Like it's never all, it's never all sunshine. It's never all happiness. Never, it never fucking is. 100%. Like when you get past this shit, that's where the longevity comes through there. Like, like, and it seems they've got through the hard stages. So I reckon they're in it for the long run. It's, it's really beautiful to see them touch on. Like we've heard so much of the, the anger and issues and then touch on everything they've gone through. So it's so good to see them finally be happy and get past those stages. And that's a great underlying message that's been throughout this album, mm. I think, and a lot of their music. And one of the lines, I know you're going to look it up now. One of the lines that I wanted to mention that I thought was quite funny. Oh, yeah, I know. Jay, Beyonce's like, yeah, you fucked up the first stone. We had to get remarried. Jay-Z's like, yo, chill, man. We keeping it real with these people, right? Lucky I ain't kill you when I met that. And I'm like, uh-oh. I, I didn't know Beyonce nearly met somebody who could have, you know, been a replacement to Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. I really like this. Um, Beyonce on the chorus really cementing their love for each other. Love is deeper than your pain and I believe you can change. Mm. The ups and downs are worth it. Long way to go, but we'll work it. We're flawed, but we're still perfect for each other. Sometimes I thought we'd never see the light. You know, it, it's a really, it's a really um, sentimental track and I really like the way they ended this. Mm. Overall for me, this album is, um, you know, it's fun, it's lighthearted, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Uh, this has 
by no means supposed to be too cohesive. The produ there's a bunch of different producers coming on at this. There's a lot of nice, good tracks. There's a couple of not so engaging tracks, but- um, mm. Did you see this line? You fucked up the first stone, had to get remarried. Yo, chill. Did you just read it? I'm sorry, man, I've been looking for shit. I can't find it. It's it's gonna be eating at me. It's pissing. It's actually pissing me fucking off. I can't remember. <laughs> they what don't track comment it. Don't worry, man. Yeah. And then we're supposed to do this shit. Sorry, man. Continue. No, no. I mentioned that line. It was a dope line. And um, overall, dope. I really enjoyed this album. And I'm gonna go back to it because I enjoy it. <laughs> and a lot of people are gonna critique this like yourself, but for me, it's like Jay Z, and Beyonce are so iconic as individuals, and their voices are so unique by themselves and together. It really melds with me and my musical taste. So for that, I will go back to this, I'm sure. I think it's a fun body of work. It's good to hear them having fun with it, but also like we've just stated, capsulated on the stuff they've been through and finally get into a, a part of their life where they can generally be happy. So I think as much as it is as fun for themselves, it's also great for other people out there struggling with things similar to this. So yeah. what could they've come out? So I only enjoyed probably two songs off of this album. So I'm not going to go back to it because I'm not married and I don't struggle with anything that these guys are talking about. But for those that do, and for people that love this sort of production and shit, you're gonna eat this shit up. So I can I can recognize a good album. I think it's a good album, but it ain't for me. I'm gonna go back to Ape Shit fair. and the other track. Fair, that's a fair, 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 fair. So four, yeah, four, fair, fair, and fair. nice, nice, nice and nice and Ape Shit. That's all I care about in this album. Nice. So yeah. Anyways, uh, sorry I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked up, man. Why did you drop this shit on my day off, motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> it's all Gucci. It's Not really shit. though. He's no. low-key mad at Jay-Z and Beyonce. Oh, I just want to sleep. Um, and yeah, man, this Jungle Beats, man. Australia's plug to the sleepiest reviews in the country. <laughs> leave uh, leave, leave your angry comment below on why we didn't uh, review this properly. I'm not as angry. Leave, leave your thoughts on it as well and let us know what we missed so we can go back to this album and revisit things we missed. That's why I like, especially with that, the last Nas review, like you hit us up with lyrics we missed and I appreciate that. I don't... You know, there's people that hate us for not catching up and the people that don't hate us and be like, yo, you missed this. I prefer that shit. Don't be like that hater motherfucking shit. Nah, just be, be you. Either way, we jungle beats and uh, it's not- Oh, the camera turned off. Did it? Oh, the camera turned off. Oh, shit. Oh, the camera turned off. Oh, the camera turned off.